to listen and you need to stop this. They don't belong in this neighborhood. Now at 6 o'clock, opposition to an MBTA project that's gaining steam. Homeowners speaking out against the construction of 74-foot poles in their neighborhood. They are part of the plan to improve Wi-Fi on the commuter rail. The I-team's Ryan Kath first uncovered this controversial deal and is live right now in studio with the new developments. Ryan? Lisa and David, if the commuter rail runs through your community, this will affect you. But taxpayers say they've been kept in the dark and showed up today urging T leaders to hit the brakes. In picturesque Manchester by the sea, homeowners say they were blindsided by a project planned along the commuter rail tracks. I think it's awful. I really think it's terrible what they're doing. Leslie Gurley talking about the 74 foot Wi Fi pole that will soon dominate the million dollar view from her backyard. I think the communication has been uh, very, very poor. Neighbors recently gathered to fly balloons and get a glimpse of how the Tees project will affect the scenic skyline. Another pole as tall as this flagpole in the marina is proposed to loom over. Over the quaint downtown. This signals a lot of disdain by the MBTA for our communities. Earlier this month, the I-team was in Andover. This is what they want to put in our yard. As angry homeowners conducted their own visual protest. That's the 75-foot mark. To demonstrate how the poles would surpass the tree line visible from blocks away in their historic neighborhood. It's basically going to transfer the equity from our homes into someone else's private pockets. A 2014 contract with InMotion Wireless awarded the company with a 22-year deal to build and operate the Wi-Fi network. When it's up and running, the MB TA will collect seven and a half percent of the revenue. I beg you to reconsider. But today, residents and elected leaders came armed with signs and packed a T board meeting, railing on the lack of communication surrounding the project. We will not stop until all 60 communities are notified of what this plan entails. And board members, also hearing about this for the first time, shared some of that skepticism. I, I have a lot of concerns about the quality of this, especially looking at how long ago this was negotiated. For a change, this is one commuter rail delay homeowners would be happy to wait on. You're changing the skyline of our town and all the other towns in, in, you know, that are affected. That is just, it's abominable. Board members had a lot of questions about the financial arrangement and whether the technology is now outdated. And they weren't getting a lot of answers, so they asked staff to put together a more detailed presentation before being willing to give their blessing to this project. For the I-Team, Ryan Kaff, WBZ News.